In San Francisco to New York, Italian-Americans lionized Il Duce. He gave them a new sense of identity. For the blacks in America, it took a flamboyant figure, Marcus Garvey, to remind them of their African heritage. In the 1920s, his Back to Africa national movement influenced many blacks. A colorful adventurer and aviator, Colonel Hubert Julian, known as the Black Eagle of Harlem, urged his people to join their brothers in Ethiopia. Blacks were developing a political consciousness. Novelist Richard Wright described their bitter legacy. Our outward guise, he said, still carries the old familiar aspect which 300 years of oppression in America have given us. But beneath the garb of the black laborer, the black cook, the black elevator operator, lies an uneasily tied knot of pain and hope. In the summer of 35, many American blacks signed up to go to Ethiopia. There is no record of how many, if any, actually did go. Nevertheless, the hostility between blacks and Italian Americans became intense. There are a number of them, riots in Harlem and in Little Italy and Mulberry Street in New York City. And there were clashes reported in Chicago and San Francisco between blacks and Italian Americans. But the most dramatic episode occurred during the heavyweight prize fight between Joe Louis and the Italian contender, Primo Canera. There were riots afterwards outside the stadium and uh, knifing and uh, some pistol shots were fired. The New York riot squad had a busy evening at that time. 